Hello everyone, and welcome to another hot unboxing video. But hold on, what's this? That's right, this is Magic the Gathering Arena. Got some mad packs here to open. And I'm gonna need to open them so I can make some hot decks. Alright? Ooh. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's, uh, it's gonna take us a while because I wanna sorta read the cards because I'm not too familiar with what we're drawing here. So I'm probably gonna draw something really, really good and then I'm not gonna react to it and then I'll probably get some sort of like, you know, baby grubble orc or something and I'll be like, oh, it's the best or something like that. So let's see. Let's just, let's just start from the start. Or maybe this is the end. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> this is the end. Maybe we should start from the other side. Amon Ket. Alright, let's start for, let's, let's open, let's open A. That's the first. A, Amon Ket. Okay. That's my, that's the only... Exaggerated reaction you're gonna get from me today from a pack opening, all right? Let's see what we got here. I think we should flip this over. If this is gonna be crackling the whole time, I think we're just gonna flip it over. Rags. All creatures get minus mi minus two minus two until end of turn. Oh, but this is that two-parter. Riches. From rags to riches. Aftermath. Each opponent chooses a creature they control. You gain control of those creatures. Hmm. Interesting. We got a uncommon wild card. Redeem this to create any uncommon. Okay. So we now know that this is this is the uncommon wild card. That's pretty cool. Creature hippo. Defiant great great more. When Defiant great more enters the battlefield. Put two minus one minus one counters on target creature you control. Whenever you put one or more minus one minus one counters on Defiant great more, remove a minus one minus one counter from another target creature you control. It's a bit of a it's a bit of shifting of counters going on there. Oh, here we go. Here's another one of those minus one minus ones. Oh, but this is against enemies, I reckon. <laughs> I don't know if you want to be adding those on your own dudes. Maybe you do. Who knows? I don't know. Cartouche of Zeal. Cartouche of Zeal enters the battlefield. Target creature can't block this turn. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has haste. Jeez, there is all sorts of stuff given haste in this game. <laughs> it's pretty freaky. It's just, you want to attack on the turn you played. <laughs> Boom. Can't block. Can't block. I mean, what a, what a disappointment. You can attack on this, you get plus one, plus one, and you can attack, but you can't block. Unlucky. Huh? <laughs> I've played this one before. I think that I've, this card, Hieroglyphic Illumination, it's like, you either, you either actually illuminate the hieroglyphs, and you draw the two cards, or you're just like, oh, and you cycle it. You're just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you just, you, you don't do it properly. Sacred Cat. Oh. Oh. Supernatural Stamina. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus two, plus O, oh, and gains. When this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. Ooh. Some crazy trades and unfortunate deaths can be avoided with that sort of stuff. Let's open another one. Oh, there's no crackling sound. So I assume maybe that card was was quite rare. <laughs> so what did we get here? This is a, a common wild card. Mm -hmm. Electrify deals four damage to the target creature. Mm -hmm. Evolving wilds. Mm -hmm. Cursed Minotaur. He's got menace. He's a bit of a menacing fellow. He's a bit. He's a bit of a string bean. You know. He's menacing, but he's not that menacing. Oh no. Look at this guy. Now this guy, this guy should be called Menacing Mummy. Look at him. He's got, he's got death billowing out of his breath. When Miasmic Mummy enters the battlefield, each player discards a card. Oh, that's fun. 
but for whom? Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Mm, that's one of those half and halves. Doesn't matter if it's black or white. Me, 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 me. Bleem, bleem. Whenever you put one or more minus one minus one counters on a creature, create that many one one black insect creature tokens. Oh, that's cool. With all those cards we just saw. You put three tokens, you get three creature tokens. That sounds awesome. <laughs> That was great, I love it. Better pools enters the battlefield tapped. Cycling 2. Island Swamp. Island Swamp. Damn. So it's, uh, it's blue and black. Hmm. At the same time. Ah, oh, the Dune Beetle. With that 1-4 stat line, you gotta be care- you gotta watch out for that one. Final reward? Mm -hmm. Cartouche of Solidarity. Plus one, plus one. White warrior creature token with Vigilance. And then you also get plus one, plus one, and First Strike. First Strike! So you can always get those ha! big fights in your favor. When Manticore of the Gauntlet enters the battlefield, put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature you control. Manticore of the Gauntlet deals three damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. As I said, I don't really know what the combat viability of any of these cards is, but I can go, hmm, sort of implying that maybe there's a possibility there. Maybe. Target creature gets plus two, plus two, and gains flying until end of turn. It's like Assassin's Creed the card. That's great. Is this the next is this the next Assassin's Creed game? They've already released it. Egypt. Awesome. Thanks, Ubisoft. Lay claim. Uh, you control enchanted permanent cycling two. Oh damn, you can steal it for seven. Just steal this big old flying crocodile. That sounds fun. <laughs> It did the burping sound effect. What the hell? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> when playing Belcher enters the battlefield, put two minus one minus one counters on target creature you control. Whenever another zombie you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Mm. Damn. So these. So he's like, he costs three, but he can be, he can be five, four, you can kill your own guys, he can be, uh, three, two. Seems more reasonable, right? Three, two, for three, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty sick. Let's go to the next one. Wait, what comes after? Ah, uh, let's, let's just go to the next one. Right? Hour of Devastation. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Captain Timo reporting for duty. You may exert Ronus's Ronus Ron Weasley Stalwart as it attacks. When you do, it gets plus one plus one until end of turn and can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Mm. Without weakness, target creature you control gains indestructible until end of turn. Damn, it's the same guy, just in two different pictures. He's a he's a bit this is his Instagram account, I see. This is, he takes all these poses, they're all quite similar, but they're all different because there's a nice uh, locale behind them, you know? It's quite a, quite a varied uh, portfolio of work, portfolio of uh, images this guy's collected here. Frontline Devastator gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Afflict two. Whenever this creature becomes blocked, defending player loses two life. Hmm, interesting. You get punished for defending, but not as not as uh, punished as if he gets to attack, I suppose. Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs. Defender. Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs deals one damage to target player or a planeswalker. Activate this ability only if you control a desert a dessert or there is a dessert card in your graveyard. Crook of Condemnation. Exile target card from a graveyard. Exile Crook of Condemnation. Exile all cards from all graveyards. Well. 
claim. Almost, almost looks like she's, uh, you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's not, let's not be inappropriate. <laughs> let's not. Return target creature card with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. And then the aftermath being, target creature gets plus two plus zone gains haste, another haste card. Claim to fame. Claim to fame. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me just, let me just check here that this is, okay, cool. What? Buntu's, oh, I made a mistake, my bad. <laughs> my bad, okay, we're gonna have to go, we're gonna have to go to the, uh, to the collection thing, just to read Buntu's. Buntu. Destroy all creatures, lands you control, don't tap during your next and tap phase. Step. Oh man, that's a big, uh, a big wipe. A big wipe, but you get punished for using it. Fair enough, fair enough. Maybe not. Whoa! River Hoopo! Flying, 1-3. You gain 2 life and draw a card. Ooh, it costs 5 to use his effect. He's a 2 cost with a 5 cost effect. Great. I love it. Oh, let's, let's stop this crackling. And let's actually flip the main card this time. Ooh! What is this? Chaos Maw. When Chaos Maw enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to each other creature. Okay, it's uh, it doesn't. It's pretty antisocial. It just uh, it it hurts everyone around it. We all know a person like that. You can't blame them. It's just it's just who they are. They're uh, they're just a hellion. You can't blame them. Feral Prowler. Ooh. It ate that boot. That's not nice. No, let's not look at that one anymore. Search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Okay. Dauntless Aven. Whenever Dauntless Aven attacks and tap target creature you control. Hmm. Strategic planning. Oh, this is like, this is the, the box art for a new game. I don't know what game it is, but it's a... Uh, Looks pretty, pretty solid, you know, some sort of action, you know. Sorcery and might and magic. Oh, that's, that's what it is. It's might and magic. Or maybe magic and might. Uh, to match. The left to right there. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them on, into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. That sounds pretty familiar. Uh, disposal Mummy. When Disposal Mummy enters the battlefield, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. Hmm. You can sort of mess around with their, with their stuff. That's, that's pretty cool. Sunset Pyramid enters the battlefield with three brick counters on it. Remove a brick counter from Sunset Pyramid, draw a card, or you can scry one. Man. Don't, uh, don't destroy, don't deface the pyramids, don't take bricks off. I mean, come on. Have some respect, huh? I mean, it looks, it doesn't look like it's in perfect condition. It's a bit of a crack down the side, but come on, guys. Come on, guys. Open fire. Wow, that is the most elaborate arrow. <laughs> what is that? Deals three damage to any target. Oh, okay. Graven Abomination. Whenever Graven Abomination attacks, exile target card from defending player's graveyard. Artifact creature horror. Huh. Another disposal mummy. When Unquenchable Thirst enters the battlefield, if you control a desert or there is a desert card, tap Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature doesn't attack during its controller's untap step. I like these, I like these, uh, desert based ones the dessert ones if you've got a dessert something happens tenacious h we reign supreme as long as a creature has a minus one minus one counter on it tenacious hunter has vigilance and death touch oh damn 
It's pretty it's pretty scary. Unraveling mummy. Target attacking zombie gains life link until end of turn. Target attacking zombie gains death touch until end of turn. Oh, it's give it gives you whatever you want. You want hey, you want a life link or you go. You want death touch or you go. There you go, but oh chaos more again. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go to Ixalan. Ixalan, let's go. X marks the spot. Oh yeah, it is! <laughs> Human pirate, marauding looter, X marks the spot, I was right. Woo! Raid. At the beginning of your end step, if you attacked with a creature this turn, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Hmm. You know. Get through, get through the, uh, get through the deck a little quicker. It's got, oh, four, three. Hmm. What's this? Raptor Companion. It doesn't, it seems, it seems rather jolly. This guy seems to be struggling in the picture. Just, just calming it down. Hey, come this way, mate. Come on. He's got, he's got ideas of his own. Swashbuckling. Why didn't this one have a sound effect? Should, should just play the full, uh, full pirate song in full. Chanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and has haste. Oh, another one of those haste cards. You play your marauding looter, then you haste out. Yeah, come on, let's go. Jade Guardian. When Jade Guardian enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on target. Merfolk, you control. Hmm. Siren Lookout. When Siren Lookout enters the battlefield, it explores. Oh, it's a flying and an explore. This is Skyward Sword. This is... What was that guy's name? I don't remember. <laughs> that guy that was in that game. Gronk or something. It's not Groot, that's for sure. Fire Cannon Blast deals 3 damage to target creature. Raid. Fire Cannon Blast deals 6 damage to that creature instead if you attack with a creature this turn. Oh. Pirate Raid. Pirate Raid. <laughs> Angrith Marauders, another pirate. If a source you control will deal damage to a permanent player, it deals double that damage to that permanent player instead. Oh, that's some late game. I mean, yeah. Seven. Cost seven, but it doubles all your damage. Doubles all your damage. Good grief. Alright, now nah, it's bothering me now. It's bothering me now. I've got to go find out. Nah, what was his name? Groose. There is the one. It's bloody Groose. Groose, mate. S wow. Se eight, se eight, seven, seven and a green. Sacrifice Ixalese Keeper. Target creature gets plus five, plus five against Trample until end of turn. Oh, it's like a, some sort of late game. Okay, what's, what is this? Ooh, a rare wild card. That's actually pretty funny. That, um... Oh, I didn't even notice that it was, like, shifting in the background. When you open up your best card and your card is just any card you want, it's sort of... It's not as exciting. Because it's not, like, you don't get to see this awesome, like, art. You don't get to hear the burp. Or the the swamp sound effects or anything like that. But no, what this actually means is all of those sound effects, whichever one you want, this card is it. But obviously it's, you know, not yet. So uh, can't get too excited about it, you know. Can't get too excited about it, but it is very exciting. Sacrifice Blight Keeper. Target opponent loses 4 life and you gain 4 life. Well, this is another one of those really expensive... You know, it's a it's a cheapy fella, but he's got this huge cost effect. Looming Altasaur, one seven. Okay, <laughs> one seven, no effect. Spike tailed Ceratops uh, can block an additional creature each combat. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Vampire Zeal. Target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn. If it's a vampire, gains first strike until end of turn. Oh, that's pretty crazy. First strike. Scary ability for the uh for the common scrapper, as it were. 
Imperial Lancer has double strike as long as you control a dinosaur. Hmm. One cost one one. Dinosaur Rider. The dinosaurs okay with that? I guess they. I guess they probably are. I don't know. I don't know the law to the game. How did the the prance proud race of dinosaurs now being ridden by human knights? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But all right. Charter course. Draw two cards and discard a card unless you attack with a creature this turn. Hmm. Okay. You got to attack, then you can draw your cards. Unknown Shores, at one mana of any colour. Pterodon Knight, has flying as long as you control a dinosaur. Oh, okay, so that's another one of those. Duress. <laughs> okay, you don't, you seem to, uh... Wow, that's, does that, is that me? Is that supposed to be me? Hey! Target opponent reveals their hand, you choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. That player discards that card. Wait, non-creature, non-land? That doesn't leave a lot of things. It could be very good, but doesn't leave a lot of options. Non-creature, non-land. Can hit something really good, or it could hit nothing at all. Destroy target creature with power 4 or greater. Fell the mighty, you know what I mean? Kite Sail Freebooter. When Kite Sail Freebooter enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. Excel that card until Kite Sail, Kite Sail Freebooter leaves the bat. The, I was going to say the island. Leaves the battlefield. Wait, what? Wow, that's really weird. It looks like it has no effect, and then you mouse over it, and then it, there it is. Boom. It's just too long or something. Imperial Aerosaur enters the battlefield, another target creature you control gets plus one plus one against flying until end of turn. So this is one of the, uh, whoa, hold on, what's going on here? Ah, oh, this is what I was, this is what I was talking about. How can you, how can you control such an unruly creature? <laughs> You're just dangling from its leg. Bound. <gasps> Rootbound Crag. Red or green? Okay. Vigilance. Human Soldier. Colossal Dreadmoor. Trample. <laughs> I like how I like how big it is, but it takes up just it's sort of you know, it's it's taking up a really small part of the image, but then you, you realize that it's so big because it's sort of crammed between these mountains. And it's bigger than this boat, clearly, and it's it's about the size of this arch. This arc. Over here. It's pretty crazy. Merfolk Warrior. Sworn Guardian. Gleaming Barrier. Uh, when Gleaming Barrier dies, create a colorless treasure artifact token with sacrifice this artifact, add one mana of any color. <laughs> what is this? This is, this is, this is, uh, quite a, quite a trap that they've placed here. Thrashing Brontodon. Listen to that thrash metal. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Shake the foundations, deals one damage to each creature without flying. Draw a card. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> trap, trap Jaw Tyrant. Enrage. Whenever Trap Jaw Tyrant is dealt damage, exile target creature and opponent controls until Trap Jaw Tyrant leaves the battlefield. Oh. Damn. Damn, he can just... Just exactly like that sound effect. Exactly like that. So that's what it sounds like when, when you play this and you get to activate it. When you, when it... You wouldn't like it if it was angry, you know? Let me tell you what. Mm. Cleansing Ray. Destroy target vampire, destroy target enchantment. That's pretty specific. Destroy target creature. That's a that's a little less specific. Uh, target creature gets plus one, plus one gains first strike. Oh, I see. Or double strike. First strike or double strike. Whichever you like. You can get it, my friend. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control. Then that creature fights target creature you don't control. Oh yeah, I see. You you change those stats up, and then you fight. Oh, that's that's cheating. That's cheating. 
Exile target creature with power greater than or equal to your life total. Okay. okay. The, okay all right. So just the the lesson is just be nearly dead all game. <laughs> I mean, or, or just somehow buff their creature to Colossal Heights. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Wayward Swordtooth can't attack or block unless you have the city's blessing. Oh, it costs three. It's a three cost five, five, but you got to ascend. You got to ascend. Oh, but it lets you ascend faster by playing out that additional land. Well, that's pretty cool. So, we've seen it, we've seen it, we've seen- Ooh, what about this one? sun Collared Raptor. Gets plus 3 plus 0 until end of turn. It doesn't- Look, what's this- This frog is- Why doesn't it just jump into the water? I mean, this guy's not even chasing it. This guy's- This guy has been uh, distracted by the- By the cameraman here. Taking that snap. Snap! Forgotten about the frog that I was trying to eat all along. River data can't be blocked by dinosaurs. That seems very specific. Okay. Crested Herdcaller. When Crested Herdcaller enters the battlefield, create a 3-3 green dinosaur creature token with Trample. Oh. That's cool. So you get two. You get two for the price of one. Damn. Rekindling Phoenix. When Rekindling Phoenix dies, create a 0-1 red elemental creature token with, at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice this creature and return target card named Rekindling Phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste until end of turn. So it, bas it never ends. It just, it just never ends. It just never ends. It rekindles itself over and over again. Unless you can somehow bop this token, or, uh, I suppose exile him or something. Send him to the Shadow Realm. Anyway, let's go to the next one here. Let's go. We keep, we're, we are powering through, powering through. Let's have a look. Alright. Ooh. Look at this guy. Alan Boar can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Damn. That's pretty mean, dude. It's pretty elitist of you, dude. Salvager. Sacrifice an artifact or creature. Put a 1-1 counter and Defiant Salvager. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. I'm just thinking now, am I opening these in the wrong order? From newest to oldest or from oldest to newest? I don't know. I think I'm going to have to do a search. I think I'm going to have to do a quick search on the internet here. Let's have a look. So, what is this? Dominaria. Releases on April 27, 2018. Uh-huh. And, um, what's, uh, what's Ixalan? 2017. Oh, okay, looks like I may have been opening these in the right order. If Dominaria is the latest one, fair enough. What about Kaladesh? What's, what's, where does that one fall in? Where does that one fall? 72nd, September 13, 2016. Okay, so this isn't some sort of random order. <laughs> Alright, fair enough, all good. Universal Solvent, sacrifice Universal Solvent, destroy target permanent. Okay, so pretty costly. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on Verdant Automaton. Hmm. Artifact creature. Destroy target creature or vehicle. Daring Demolition. Implement of Examination. Uh, draw a card if you sacrifice it, and when it's put into the graveyard for the battlefield, draw a card. Oh, cool, so you can draw two cards. Two cards for the price of one. Plus you had an artifact in there somewhere in the middle. You had an artifact somewhere in the middle. Revolt. When Vengeful Rebel... What did I say? Oh, I said Revolt, right. I was like, Vengeful Revolt, what? Enters the battlefield. If a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, target creature an opponent controls gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. So you can just kill it if you want to. Secret salvage. Exile target non land card from your graveyard. Search your library for any number of cards with the same name as that card. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Oh. 
Oh, that's cool. To find what you want. What you really, really want. Okay, we have to look at this. What is this? Tez Tezzeret's Touch. Enchant Artifact. Enchanted Artifact is a creature with base power and toughness 5-5 five, five in addition to its other types. When Enchanted Artifact is put into a graveyard, return that card to its owner's hand. Hmm. Enchanted Artifact is a creature with base power and toughness 5-5. Five, five. And then if... So you can get it back. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. I like the sound of that. Trophy Mage. When Trophy Mage enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost 3. Reveal it. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Okay, so this set's got some sort of, uh, some sort of artifacts, so the, like this one, and this one enchants that one, and it's pretty cool. You put it on this one, and then you, when it dies, you draw a card, you get it back, you draw another card, oh, rock and roll. Put target artifact on the bottom of its owner's library. Okay, so this is, uh, this sounds like, uh, anti-artifact. When 4th Bridge Prowler enters the battlefield, you may have target creature get minus 1, minus 1 until end of turn. That's pretty cool. So, as a 1. Aether Poisoner. Death Touch. Enters the battlefield, you get 2, uh, what are those, pentagons with, uh, lightning bolts on them. Uh, you may pay 2 pentagons with lightning bolts on them. If you do, create a 1-1 one, one color servo artifact creature token. Oh, so this is another one of the, uh, artifacts. Oh, and here's one of the big artifacts, the uh, Metallic Mimic. It's like a metal song or something. It's a thrash track. Enters the battlefield, chosen creature type is the chosen type in addition to its other types. Each other creature you control of the chosen type enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. For a 2 as well. But you need to know what you, you gotta know what you're building around there. You gotta know, you can't leave it to chance. Can't leave it to chance. Fen Hauler, it's a big bug. Can't be blocked by artifact creatures. That's very specific. <laughs> Improvise. Your artifacts can help cast a spell. Each artifact you tap after you're done activating mana abilities pays for one. Huh, okay. So that might uh, help that seven cost there. When Silk Weaver Elite enters the battlefield, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, draw a card. It's got Reach and Revolt. Implement of Improvement. Uh, sacrifice to gain two life, uh, is put in the graveyard, draw a card. Oh, wow. Alright. What's this? Caught in the brights. Chain creature can't attack or block. When a vehicle you control attacks, exile enchanted creature. Damn. Oh man, now I, f I feel sorry for this guy. I thought, I thought this was like, he was some sort of, uh, some sort of criminal being caught, you know, creeping creeping away from the crime scene but no this guy's about to be exiled that that's how much he's going to get hit by the vehicle he's going to be exiled that's that's horrible destroy target artifact creatures about flying can't block this turn okay sacrifice restoration specialist return up to one target artifact card and up to one target enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand cool Bring him back. Bring it all back. Hungry Flames deals 3 damage to target creature and 2 damage to target player or planeswalker. So all sorts of these sort of uh, instant do damage to this, do damage to that. This and that. Ooh. Carry Zev's expertise. Gain control of target creature or vehicle until end of turn. Untap it. It gains haste until end of turn. You may cast a card with converted mana cost 2 or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. So it's got, it's got, it's a two-parter. It's a two-parter. You may cast a card with converted mana cost two or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. Hmm, so you steal and then you can do something to it. Do, oh, what would you do? Something evil. Something evil, no doubt. Glint Sleeve Artisan. Fabricate one. When this creature enters the battlefield, put a 1-1... One, one, Counter on it, or create a 1-1 one, one color of a servo artifact creature token. Cool. Token or buff. Whoa, what's this? Engineered might. What are they up to? Hey! Hey, put that... Put that tree down, hey! Will you... Hey! That's my... Hey! Target creature gets plus 5, plus 5, and gains trample until end of turn. Creatures you control get plus 2, plus 2, and gain vigilance until end of turn. So... Either one or all. Damn. 
one or all. Renegade Freighter. Whenever, whenever Renegade Freighter attacks, it gets plus one, plus one, it gets trample until end of turn. And you can crew it with two people. No, not crew, true to two power. Total power, two or more. <laughs> I just think it's like two people in the crew. Oh, thanks, Ubisoft. Crew two. And Spentonius. <laughs> When Sponto let's just that's, that's it. That's what it's called. When Spontaneous Artist enters the battlefield, you get one hexagon with a lightning bolt on it. Not a hexagon, a pentagon. Sorry, sorry. I don't want to make ah. Uh, this that's that was embarrassing. That was an embarrassing mistake. Target creature gains haste until end of turn. Oh wow. Okay. Just give haste to whatever you want. That's apparently what what you can do in this game. And tap all non-land permanents you control. Hmm. Oh, no way! Oh, a mythic rare. Any mythic rare. Ah, yeah! Assam! Yeah! Yay! Yay, yay, yay! I, I, I don't know if I've gotten any mythic rares so far. Maybe that's what those crackling ones were. Well, that one wasn't crackling. I don't know what the crackling. Maybe the crackling ones are the special ones with the sound effects and stuff. Those are cool. I like those. Another one of those spontaneous flying three four. Oh, I'll put that guy down. Oh, come on. Those those people a moment ago were carrying that tree. This guy's carrying me bloody goat. Can you just leave me alone? Take down four damage to target creature with flying, or one to every creature with flying. Die young. Choose target creature, you get two. Then you may pay any amount of... I'm not saying it anymore, it's too long. No, it's, it's not clear what it's about. Choose target creature. You get two pentagons with a lightning bolt on it. Then you may pay any amount of pentagons with a lightning bolt. The creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn for each pentagon with a lightning bolt paid this way. Oh man, I don't want to say it anymore. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Thriving Grubs. So you get two. Whenever Thriving Grubs attacks, you may pay two if you do put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Okay, fair enough. Destroy target creature with power 3 or greater. Scry 1. Oh, okay. Why are they killing this whale? Why would they do that? As an additional cost to cast a spell, return a permanent you control to its owner's hand. Counter target spell. Okay. Some of these sound effects are so good. Whenever one or more 1-1 one, one counters are put on a permanent you control, you may pay one. If you do create a 1-1 one, one colorless, colorless servo artifact creature token, choose a counter and target permanent player. Give that permanent or player another counter of that kind. Huh. Choose a counter on target permanent or player. Give that permanent player another counter of that kind. Sounds good. Sounds like you could do something really crazy with that. Ripperian, Ripperian Tiger. You get two whenever Ripperian Tiger attacks. You may pay two. If you do, you get plus two, plus two. That's a lot of twos involved. Prophetic Prism. Draw a card. Add one mana of any color. Add one mana. Oh, so you have to pay one and then tap it just to get one. Oh, all right, I see. <laughs> I understand. Destroy target creature. You gain one life for each artifact you control. Hmm. Tidy conclusion. I seem so. Seem so. When Herald of the Fair enters the battlefield, target creature you control gets plus one plus one until end of turn. A little bit of a buff. A little bit of a buff there. Just no, you know, some some words of encouragement. Yeah, go get him. Yeah, yeah, go for it, mate. And then it sort of it just walks away. Just walks away. When the fair ends, the herald of the fair goes with it. When fairgrounds warden enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until fairgrounds warden leaves the battlefield. Hmm. So you got to kill this guy to get him back. He puts. Is that what the cuffs look like? Oh man. You get one. Return target creature you control to its owner's hand. Return target creature you control to its owner's hand. So, one of yours 
to wh whomever owns them. Oh, okay. A rare wild card. Okay. All right. So, so common wild cards, some rare wild cards. I can dig it. All right, let's go. Where we started. Dominin Domininaria. Woo! Hell are the Fire Fletcher. Whenever you cast a spell, if that spell was kicked, don't kick your spells, kids. That's not nice. Don't kick them. Unless you, get, unless you have to. I don't, I don't believe in kicking spells. What did they do? Anyway, where were we? Put a 1-1 counter on Halar the Fire Fletcher, then Halar deals damage equal to the number of 1-1 counters on it to each opponent. Oh, that sounds awesome. I like that. I love the uh, border on this card. Oh, it just looks awesome. Bolus's Clutches. You control Enchanted Permanent. Enchanted Permanent is legendary. Ah, oh, it becomes a legendary, does it? Oh, this is cute. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and is flying. Oh, that's cute. It's a flying cat. And this old geese is like, oh no, mittens. What have I done? <laughs> no, mittens. Wing Grace Acolyte. When Wing Grace Acolyte enters the battlefield, puts the top three cards of your library into your graveyard and you gain three life. Just get rid of them. I don't want them. Just get rid of them. Target creature gets plus one and gains first strike and haste. Okay. Right, calm down, man. Calm down with that fervor, man. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Dark Bargain. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Dark Bargain deals two damage to it. To you. Oh, man. What is that guy holding? Is that Pot of Greed? It looks like it. It looks like it to me. Oh, man. Man, the borders are so cool. Legendary enchantment. You can't lose the game. Ah, oh, it sounds so good. It sounds so useful. Whenever you gain life, draw that many cards. Whenever you lose life, for each one life you lost, exile a permanent you control or a card from your hand or grip. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, when Lich's Mastery leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that, that's... Oh man, this this scroll thing here really uh, really cooked me here because you can't see the full text until you get to the end. Oh, I was so excited. I was so excited. They got me. What is this? Is this uh, is this the new uh, Game of Thorns book, Time of Ice? As this saga enters and after you draw, step, add a law, counter, sacrifice after three. Tap target creature and opponent controls. It doesn't untap during its control is untapped step for as long as you control time of ice. Return all tapped creatures to the owner's hands. Oh, right. It's kind of cool. Arvid the Cursed, Death Touch, Life Link. Other legendary creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Oh, okay. He's buffing those, he's buffing those legendaries, mate. He's a bit of an elitist. Add one mana of any color. You only have to pay two. That's, that's great. That's great. Turn target permanent you control to its owner's hand. I'll rescue. Ah, oh, just in case he dies. You don't want it to die. Call the cavalry. Create two, two, two white knight creatures tokens with vigilance. White knights. This is the internet. You need your white knights. Call the cavalry. Put a 1-1 count on target creature you control if it's legendary. Then it fights target creature and opponent controls. Hmm. Ancient Animus. Oh my god! You, you remember... <laughs> you remember at the start when I said oh, I would probably get some sort of, uh, you know, baby... Orc, goblin, or something. I said something like that. I don't think I said goblin, but I think I was gonna say goblin. I think I said some other made-up word. And here it is. <laughs> here it is. There it is, a legendary creature, Squee the Immortal. You may cast Squee the Immortal from your graveyard or from exile. He is immortal. He never. He just never gives up. He never gives up. He costs three, but he doesn't give up. That's what we're looking for. That we, we need that determination. Man, that's awesome. We found... I want to go, you have to watch... You're going to have to watch the video from the start. One more time. Just... 
just to see what I said, because I'm pretty sure that I, that I was going to find something like this, and I did. Right at the end. That's a nice loop. Just go back to the start of the video, watch it one more time, um, and then you can enjoy the, uh, the foreshadowing. That's, that's awesome. I mean, I put that in on purpose. I knew what was going to happen, so there you go. Ooh. My mouse stopped working, but, but, oh, here it is. So we got rescue. Oh no, mittens, not again. I thought I learned, I, th I thought I learned from me last time. Oh, bloody heck. Bleeding heck. Not again, mittens. When will I learn? This spell costs one less to cast if you control a wizard. When Academy Journey Mage enters the battlefield, return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it costs uh, three, no, five, four. It costs four. I mean, you can send one back. Send it back. Drudge Sentinel against indestructible until end of turn. Okay. Excavation Elephant. When Excavation Elephant enters a battlefield, if it was kicked, return target. Why are you kicking the, your elephants now? What? Oh, I understand maybe it uh, got a little bit distracted or a little bit tired, but just don't kick it. Oh my god. Oh no, here it says a kicker. You may pay an additional cost as you cast this spell. Oh, so you're not actually kicking the creature or the spell. Oh, that... Alright. You know, I was, I was really, I was really distraught. I thought, alright, I, I misunderstood. That's my bad. That's my bad. Get you, uh, get you one of your... Uh, Artifacts back. The Eldest Reborn. Oh, this is the this is the new Game of Thorns. The next. My mouse is broken again. I would mouse over this card, but it's it's busted. It's too much, too much unboxing goodness. Oh, here we go. As this saga enters and after, you'll draw a step at a law counter. Sacrifice after three. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Each opponent discards a card. Put target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the ba- Oh my god. Wow, that sounds awesome. That's really good. <laughs> Verdant Force. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1 1 green saproling creature token. That's worth 8. It's definitely worth 8, I can tell. You've got no packs to open. What's this? Vault Progress, 90%. Contains one mythic rare wild card, two rare wild cards, and three uncommon wild cards. Unlock the vault by opening packs and collecting cards. So we didn't we didn't make it. We didn't quite make it, but we got we have these ten uncommon, ten uncommon, ten common, ten uncommon, four rare, two mythic rare, and we are ninety percent through the vault. Um, so that's pretty awesome. But hey, that was amazing. We. Wow, oh, we opened a whole bunch of packs there. That was a lot of packs. That took much longer than I thought it would. But, you know, exciting game, exciting packs, exciting card, great art, great effects, great artifacts. Great baby orc goblins. Um, wild cards. Mittens. And, uh... All sort of other, all sorts of other things. So that was, uh, that was a whole lot of fun. I really enjoyed that, actually. And now it says you have no packs to open. And then there's this big button that says get packs. And... and I'm licking my lips. I mean, that was, that was a lot of packs. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not feeling it right now. The call of the get packs button. Not quite yet, but, uh, I mean, that was, that was a big dose of unboxing. So, I'm not sure when I'm going to start feeling the side effects, but maybe we're going to do some more hot unboxing sometime in the future. Where, which game, I don't know. But until then, all the best, all the best. Have a good one. Have a good one.